This time we are showcasing the results from a day trip a few months ago which saw us visit two abandoned places. One of which was a small abandoned school which had some great architecture that we wouldn't have expected from the outside of the building. Secondly, we take a look at a huge disused church that overlooks the city. Our exploration of the vacant house of God doesn't go exactly to plan, but we wanted you to see the footage nevertheless. Outside the old schoolhouse, the location of this property might be revealed due to the typical Yorkshire brick used on the building. The pillars and design of the site shows its Georgian era construction that not many people get a chance to see anymore. Surrounded by foliage, the school is hidden from street level and if you didn't know it was here, you'd never find it. Soon enough we find an easy entrance to the stripped basement of the premises. Down here we are fairly creeped out by the array of fading murals on the walls, furthering our knowledge of the site. We actually think this was a nursery building which was on a school site that was demolished a few years ago. The larger school structure was also abandoned but was a more modern building and didn't share the exquisite architecture this one does. Upstairs we begin to find signs of the grandeur of the property. There are multiple large ornate rooms where the neglection is clearly visible. Sadly the whole site has been completely stripped of any furniture, but this just emphasises the detail that went into each door frame and each cove. As you can probably tell the building was converted into a school from a manor house in the early 1900s. We don't have an exact close date but we can find images of the building online in an active state around 8 years ago, so we assume it shut down sometime then. Here are the images we refer to. They show the deterioration of the premises since closure in the likes of the royal themed paint that has faded dramatically and you almost can't tell it was once gold. We also speculate that the nursery site closed before the rest of the school, although we can't be certain. From up high in the vacant school we could see the new flats that were going up in the place of the former education centre. Here is the highlight of the explore for us. In the central position of the building you can find this beautiful spiral staircase that leads up to a domed ceiling. It's not just the architecture we enjoy about this scene however, as the decay is prominent in this region, perhaps due to the large stained glass window letting light in. We 
we noticed the red safety cover of the banister, so at some point work must have gone underway at the nursery. However, we could see dust on the furnishing, so it doesn't seem like anything has occurred for a while. Supposedly the cover went all the way to the top of the banister, but some photographers ripped it off in order to get the more authentic shot. Therefore we found the crumpled remains in the empty room. We really hope this brilliant piece of architecture can be saved, because it isn't something we see too often in England. In addition, the building isn't damaged too badly either, so there is definitely hope for its future. After this quick opener to our day, we were ready to move on to our next spot on the map, shortly after we arrived. In hindsight, this massive derelict church at the top of the hill wasn't going to be so difficult. We were aware of countless explorers that had visited here and came away with no issues whatsoever. Therefore, we confidently approached the old structure that is protected by numerous spiked fences, each of which we had to deal with. Soon enough we set off our first alarm upon nearing the church, however actually this wasn't supposed to be a huge issue. After speaking to other urbexes, they had said the alarms don't mean much and no one comes when they go off. This is why we pursued the entrance to the house of God without concern, even though we were setting more and more howling alarms off as we drew closer. The historic church was built in the 1850s, announced by a ceremony held in the building. Due to its position high up facing the northern winds, the parish was forced to repair the mighty structure constantly, which inevitably led to its closure in the late 90s when costs got too high and funding was too low. Eventually we found our way inside the stunning main hall and we were taken away completely. The gigantic room before us was incredible. Every single bit of wall had some sort of stone detail that must have took so much effort to construct. Tall pillars rose up from the open floor to reach a curving ceiling that was amazing to see. As we were busy enjoying the beautiful carvings and huge windows the church had to offer, we did notice that there was internal scaffolding. This was a feature that no other explorer had captured when they visited the site, so we knew work was commencing. Our thoughts about this continued after we discovered an outlining plan on the ground for the renovations of the site, so the builders could come and look at it whilst working to get an overview. It was while we were looking at the blueprints that we suddenly heard someone call out to us loudly. Through the hole. We didn't, we didn't break in or anything, we just saw it. This place is so dangerous, yeah, it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Yes, please I don't, know you want pictures. Please don't nice. You can, see, right. you can see the photo. Oh, yeah, I yeah, 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 appreciate yeah, what you're saying, saying fellas. But this is Costa's trespass. This yeah. is where these alarms are coming. Yeah. That's where we're called out. It's for your safety. It's not for ours. Yeah. It's for your safety. Yeah, yeah. It's all right, we haven't fetched this for ours. Well, it's just got okay. <laughs> I've got a padlock there for a little bit. Uh. It turned out that the alarms were linked to an active enforcement, but only recently, when the internal work was ongoing. Thankfully, the security that caught us inside were nice, understanding guys, and we were let out, but warned about coming back. As the church is being renovated, we are happy that the astounding site has the rare chance of being saved, but it's a pity still that we couldn't showcase the structure in depth and look at each individual carving carefully. What we hope is that you can visit the building yourselves, once it's safe for the public, to experience the grand church in a much better condition. Next time. Not long ago this gigantic abandoned property suffered from a major fire which caused huge destruction inside. There are still interesting remnants of the former structure as well as a preserved air raid shelter deep underground.
Thank you for watching a slightly different video. We have more exciting fails like this one stored in our files, so let us know if you found this one interesting enough that you want to see more. See you next time.